If you're the kind of person who feels like they need therapy, you're useless. Because in the harshest realities of this cold world, there are people in Syria whose entire families have been blown to fuck, who are still getting up every day, making fucking bread and selling it on the streets so they have enough money to buy a new pair of sandals sometime next year. Never say you go into bed. Going to bed is emasculate. Cowards need sleep. Well, I'm texting you, you beautiful girl, but I'm tired. I'm going to bed. You know what I like to say at fucking quarter past one in the morning? I'm going to work. Work? At this time, money never sleeps, baby. Then I go to bed. Greetings, allies, as we've journeyed through the mysterious history of masks, unraveled the secrets of influence, and delved into world's most powerful moves. It beckons us to our current era. Today, we navigate the currents of the digital age, zeroing in on modern day influences. Our spotlight today illuminates a figure who's both celebrated and contentious, Andrew Tate. His mastery and upheavals in the world of social media have carved out legions of both admirers and dissenters. That's why it's easy to lose oneself amidst the myriad narratives spun about him many colored by personal biases. To pierce through this noise, we've anchored our insights to reputable news articles and Tate's own authentic voice, be it through his written words or videos. Striving for a depiction that's as balanced and objective as our quest allows. Now, allies, brace yourselves as we plunge deep into the enigma that is Andrew Tate. Every influencer has a beginning, a foundation that forms their core. For Andrew Tate, his story is woven with threads of determination, athletic prowess and sheer audacity. Emerging from the heart of Washington DC, young Andrew was a tempest of unbridled potential. Carrying the legacy of his father, the African-American chess international master Emery Andrew Tate Jr. And nurtured by the English charm of his mother, Eileen Ashley, Andrew's roots were deep and diverse. Beside him, through thick and thin, was his brother Tristan Tate, an inseparable bond evident in their shared endeavors. We have 27 cars between us, and, yes. we, and we drive them whenever we want. Yes, Sometimes. they're all on our drive. They're all ours. Yes. The house is ours. Yes. It's all ours. Besides women and underwear, we share everything. Yes. So some loser said to me famously on a, the comment blew up. He said, you and your brother sharing uh, sharing one car. I said, no, no, we share 27 cars, uh, six mansions, and $100 million. Yet in the realm of family dynamics, not all relationships remain harmonious. His relationship with his sister Janine Tate, a blend of intellect and beauty as a lawyer and model, has been strained due to differing political perspectives. She goes to feminist rallies and believes Trump's a racist. I know, how can Andrew Tate have a low IQ sister? But it's been proven that the first child is always the smartest. Growing amidst the bustling streets of Chicago and the tranquil stretches of Goshen, Indiana, Andrew was baptized in diverse experiences, which carved the contours of his dynamic personality. His journey was always shadowed by the guiding light of Christian faith. A turn of events in his family led him, along with his brother, to the shores of England. Here he blended into the fabric of Halyard High School and later honed his intellect at Luton Six Form College. The tales of his father resonate deeply within him, not just imparting life's wisdom, but also introducing him to the game of kings, chess. Who is your father? My father was a, a chess master. When I was with my father, if he needed your phone number, he'd ask, what's your phone number? And you'd say it once, and that was it for the rest of his life. You'd tell him an address, that was it for the rest of his life. He never wrote anything down, he never had to repeat anything to him. As for his mother, her role was distinctive. While his admiration for his father is unparalleled, he expresses profound gratitude towards his mother, ensuring her comfort in her golden years. What positive or negative influence did mom have over you? Yeah, so my mother was fantastic. She was an amazing mother. 
but those who witnessed his school years remember a version of Andrew still in the chrysalis, vastly different from the influential butterfly he would metamorphose into. By 2005, an unyielding drive propelled him towards the combat arenas of boxing and martial arts. His journey wasn't just about navigating life's battles, but mastering them. The name Tate is not just a label, it's an emblem of grit, carved from persistence, audacity and unparalleled determination. By November 2008, the International Sport Kickboxing Association acknowledged his prowess, ranking him as the 7th best light heavyweight kickboxer in the UK. In 2013, his relentless pursuit of excellence saw him clinch the British ISKA Full Contact Light Cruiserweight Championship, propelling him to the top ranks of Europe. In the kickboxing world, he wasn't just Andrew Tate, he was the King Cobra, striking fear into the hearts of his adversaries. But beyond the limelight of the ring, Tate's ambitions knew no bounds. The canvas of his endeavors spanned way beyond kickboxing. But success is never linear. At one point, the fighter found himself cornered by financial strains and looming threats, forcing him to pivot and adapt. Entrepreneurship beckoned, and he answered. Together with his brother Christian, they ventured into the world of webcamming, navigating the intricate world of online intimacy. They employed scores of webcam models, crafting narratives that resonated with their audience. I had pretty girls on the internet talking on a computer to, to guys in America somewhere. Kind of like a chat chat line. You know those chat lines? Yeah. It was kind of like that. I had these guys selling their houses, life savings, loans, all of it to me. Give me it all. So like, and it's, it's basic shit, right? You'd have you a guy- feel bad or no? Fuck no. I give a solitary fuck. Yet behind the scenes, Andrew was candid about the nature of their business. Once terming it a calculated scam. And me and my brother, and eventually some staff I trained, would do all the talking. The girls were just pure, just famoosers. Just laughing and doing this. The titties out. And they were talking to fucking ice cold hustlers. We were taking their money, all of it. And they, they come and say, <laughs> what kind of, all of it. We were fucking milking them dry. Broadening his horizon, he collaborated with Romanian casino magnates, driving competitors to the brink and securing a stake in a thriving enterprise. The first thing is I own some casinos in Romania. Fantastic. The, the story of how I opened them is, is long, but I'll make it very, very short. There was a guy who owns 400 casinos, three brothers, mafia guys. They own 400 casinos throughout Eastern Europe. I came up to him and said, look, I want to do a franchise with you. They said, we're not interested in franchises. We have enough money. We just open them ourselves. We turn over 10 million euros a day. Why do I need your franchise? Eventually, I came up with a plan. And I said, look, how about this? I'll open up your locations directly next to your biggest competitor. So I'll go to war for you next to the competitor. Worst case, the location doesn't pay any money, but at least it takes money from your competitor. I'll give you a percentage of turnover. So even if it doesn't make profit, you make money. I'll take all the financial risk. They agreed. Tristan, leveraging their insights into interpersonal dynamics, took the helm of a unique venture, steering the careers of OnlyFans models. My brother runs a company that manages girls on OnlyFans. So a female without instruction is headed for disruption. Women are intrinsically lazy. Yep. Intrinsically. If you show a man how to make $1,000 in an hour, he'll think, I can make $24,000 a day. Harnessing their growing social media cloud, the Tate brothers laid the foundation of their digital empire, Hustlers University. This initiative soon evolved, giving birth to the real world. Stay with us as we delve deeper into the world they crafted. The world is no longer just physical, it's digital. And Andrew Tate, he wasn't just participating, he was dominating. The mainstream first caught wind of Tate in 2016. His stint on the 17th series of the British reality show Big Brother was nothing short of explosive. 
Yet beneath the reality show glitz, a storm brewed. Past tweets resurfaced, igniting controversies. Accusations of homophobia, racism, and even an unsettling video caused waves. Tate and even the woman involved in the video both reiterated it was consensual, yet controversy's shadow loomed large. Controversial? Undoubtedly. Yet in the cacophony of social media, Tate's voice rang clear, gathering both allies and adversaries. But the year 2022 was a formidable adversary as well. With a wave, Facebook and Instagram obliterated his digital presence, wiping away millions of followers. TikTok wasn't far behind either. Meta and TikTok's reasons were stark, labeling his content and branding as dangerous. YouTube took action as well, citing Tate for spreading misinformation and hate speech. What about Twitch? Well, he pulled his own plug there. Lastly, Twitter played a tumultuous game with Tate. Suspensions, verifications, more suspensions, and then an unexpected revival. Behind the controversies and bans, there was a method to the madness. Every interaction, every post, every controversy, it all bolstered the Tate brand echoing far beyond its origins. Was it all just noise, or was there a strategy behind the storm? One thing's for certain, Tate wasn't just in the game. He was setting the rules and calling these bands an attack of the so-called Matrix. You need your handheld. You need your handheld because when you first escape the Matrix, you're lost in the ether. You're lost. You understand you're living inside of a mechanism which is designed to control you, but you don't extend, understand exactly how to escape it. If I were to tell you that there are ways of making money which are so foreign to you, so alien that you've never even heard of them, you'd sit there and go, no, possibly that can't be true. I probably have heard of it. If you've heard of it, why are you still broke? In an age of information, Tate had an education of his own to deliver. Another client this last month, that's what took me to 5K. I've taken 14,000, made 52,000 out of it. Everybody in the real world is making money. The biggest, the largest benefit to the real world is direct access to professors. You are taught by a millionaire that answer your questions. They give you everything on a silver platter. It may be impossible to not make money. Hustlers University wasn't just a place to learn. It was a mindset. A promise to break free from conventions and to wield tools that resonate with the digital age. From copywriting to investments in cryptocurrencies, Tate's curriculum was vast. But it wasn't just about skills. It was about reshaping perspectives. For $49.99 a month, subscribers unlocked a treasure trove of content, discussions, and community interactions, all facilitated on a bustling Discord server. But it wasn't just about teaching, it was about expanding for Tate. The affiliate marketing program? A smart move to harness the power of word of mouth in a digital age. 2022 saw an explosive marketing strategy. Tate's face, his voice, everywhere. An orchestrated effort to boost engagement and stamp his brand on every corner of the digital realm. And it worked. By August, 100,000 people had subscribed, generating approximately $5 million a month for Tate. But the journey wasn't without bumps. Stripe's withdrawal was a setback, leading to the shutdown of the affiliate program, which caused the rebranding of Hustlers University to the real world. But was it all as golden as it seemed? Many people saw a different side, labeling it as a social media pyramid scheme. But in this age, where does traditional wisdom stand against disruptive marketing strategies? The testimonials tell wary tales, 
Some hail Tate as a visionary, while others are skeptical. Controversy? Yes. Impact? Undeniable. Critics have been vocal. Accusations of promoting harmful ideologies and exploiting his subscribers by promoting the subscription to the so-called War Room have been rife. The War Room is, in his words, a global network in which examples of individualism work to free the modern man from socially induced incarceration. Access to the War Room is available for a hefty sum of $5,000. The catch? You have to sign an NDA. And you can get kicked any time. But, as always, controversy only fueled Tate's flame, making each course a hot ticket item. In the end, whether you're a critic or a follower, Tate's real work challenges the norms, demanding the world to take notice. January 2023 brought new headlines, as Vice News reported allegations against Tate, charges he vehemently denied. Back in 2019, the Crown Prosecution Service wrapped up a four-year investigation deciding not to press any charges due to evidence they claimed didn't meet their legal standards for a realistic prospect of conviction. The women involved expressed their dissatisfaction, citing mishandlings in the case, whereas Tate pointed out that the investigation had, in his view, actually exonerated him. Fast forward to April 2022. The U.S. Embassy in Romania sends an alarming claim, kick-starting a series of events. A raid on a property and webcam studio linked to the Tate brothers led to the discovery of four women and ignited an in-depth investigation into potential human trafficking and assault. Despite being initially questioned as witnesses, the situation escalated for the Tate brothers. By December, the brothers, alongside two women, found themselves under arrest, facing serious charges. DIICOT, Romania's anti-organized crime agency, alleges a web of deception and exploitation accusing the Tate brothers of running an organized crime group and recruiting women through manipulative tactics. The public and media speculated wildly, some even tying Tate's arrest to his online feud with Greta Thunberg, a theory the authorities were quick to deny. Legal battles ensued with extended detentions, acid sieges, and intense scrutiny. With millions of dollars in assets hanging in the balance, the stakes were undeniably high. The potential victims started actively participating in the case, while the defense fought for fair treatment and access to evidence. As the months rolled on, the situation developed, with legal setbacks for the Tate brothers, growing charges and increasing public interest. In a whirlwind of events, the accusations managed to tarnish the reputation of the Tate brothers. Though some might argue the publicity only amplified their notoriety. Andrew Tate, a force to be reckoned with in the digital era. But who is he truly? An innovator, a provocateur, or perhaps a puppeteer of public sentiment? ...about Andrew Tate is that I would say that 75% of Andrew Tate's diagnoses of the problem are pretty correct. Yeah, I agree. And then I would say that a lot of his prescriptions are completely wrong. Yeah. Right? So, so he, will, he will say, men have lost their role in the world. And then what he will model is cam girls. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, that, that's not actually the solution. But what you're saying about the problem of men losing their role and men needing to be masculine and men needing to want to win and men needing to cultivate uh, an ability to, to go out and succeed and thrive in the world, all of that is 100% true. Whereas seen as a beacon or a blight, 
The Tate brand showcases society's intricate dance with ambition, aspiration and morality. Ironically, for someone who so fervently criticized The Matrix, Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan, with their insatiable hunger for material gains, could be seen as its very epitome. Thus, the answer to the question whether he's just a misogynist or some kind of messiah is clearly dependent on whom you might ask. In the grand tapestry of the digital age, one thing's undeniable. Andrew Tate has carved his niche, for better or worse. Or as Andrew once remarked, My unmatched perspicacity, coupled with sheer indefatigability, makes me a feared opponent in any realm of human endeavor. Thank you for delving into this narrative with us, allies. Until next time.